is up, my crazy subscribers? Optic Jewel here. So today's topic is about supply drops, camouflages, and dark matter. One of the first things I want to start off with will be the supply drops. Now the supply drops is pretty much free for everybody out there. But in my timeline, uh, there's a person that I'm subscribed to, which is called Fisticuffs. If you guys are not subscribed to that channel, I'll put the link in the description so you guys can check out his latest video where he spent 60 bucks on the game, on supply drops, just to get some camos and some, some of the extra weapons. And, um, well, one of the things that bothers me is like, why? You know, why bother spending real money just to unlock some stupid camos that won't even affect your game? Like, would it even matter? If you unlock camouflage, it's like if it was some other kind of way, like it will give you like plus five swag or plus five damage or something, it will probably matter. What is up, guys? Today I'll be unlocking more supply packages for you guys. Hopefully, I do get one of the special characteristics that will give me a boost on my gameplay. Like, for example, I got some call sign not long ago where it gave me plus three speed. Now, let's check what do I get on the supply drop. Oh please, oh please, give me the new sword, flame tank, oh my god, look at all these perks, oh my god, look at all these boosts, so magnificent, so amazing, so awesome, oh my god. Like my idea, the uh, the way a skin can actually be effective is if it's a game changer. Like it gives you plus two reloading speed, or plus one sprinting, or you know some other kind of stat that actually is going to boost your game up, that will be the time when you got to spend money. But if you're spending money just to spend money on you know, on random ass skins that don't even matter, and especially if it's not CSGO, like I understand CSGO players. I know why they spend money because those skins that they're unlocking actually cost money. Most of them cost like more than $2. So that's one way you can still make money over there. But in Call of Duty, nobody gives a fuck about the skins. I don't give a damn either. Yes, I, I know I did like a supply drop opening like a few weeks ago, but I did not care. The reason why I did it is because it has so many crypto keys. So I spent all my crypto keys and showed it to you guys that I, what I'm getting in the background. So um, it really doesn't matter to me. And I know some of you guys are going to be like, well, the reason you don't care is because you never got the sword or you never got the crossbow. I'm like, bitch, I still get 40 or 50 kills per gameplay. I'm still getting a high KD per gameplay. I don't really care about skins. And that's what I still do not get. Why do people care about the scans like there's a this youtuber who spammed me last week which i'll be talking in a separate video um who spammed me and said like oh i do dark matter gameplays make sure you subscribe to me i'm like does it even matter <laughs> does it even fucking matter the only thing you know that dark matter makes me think of is that you don't have a life because the way you can unlock dark matter is by having all diamond weapons and by the way, to get diamond weapons, you know, you got to do all the challenges for all the weapons. That's going to take you a long ass time, buddy. It's going to make me think that you have no life. So pretty much people who have dark matter skins, it's going to make me think that you have no life because you unlock them that quick and within like three months or four months of release, which is that super quick. I hadn't even unlocked gold camps for any of my guns because I don't really care about them. So, um, yeah. I don't understand that one guy, but I'll talk about it in a separate video about the dark matter thing. So, yeah, guys, what's the point? What's the point of unlocking skins? I mean, I know that adds like a little bit more like an hour of enjoyment. I know it did for me, like when I unlock supply drops. But at the end, you know, people are talking crap like, oh, you don't have the skin or you don't have the sword. I'm like, I don't give a damn. I'll still kill you with my Vesper, which has been nerfed more than four times. You know, I don't care. So when I see these people wasting money, I'm like... Does it make you better or what does it do? <laughs> That's why I don't spend real money on these kinds of games, guys. Maybe on Madden, seeing that players actually, you know, are game changers. They have different overalls. You can unlock elites and everything. Like those kinds of games like FIFA, Madden, and NBA 2K. You know, those I suggest to spend money on because they are game changers there. This game has no game changers on any of the fucking supply drops. Except for the new weapons, which should have been free. Those weapons should have been given to everybody, seeing that we bought the fucking season pass, but now we have to spend real money, or not even at all, it's going to take us a while to, with, with the crypto keys, it should have been given to all of us, because, you know, the game's starting to get boring, I wanted new weapons, but I still don't have them, I'm like, fine, I'll play your fucking game, get 500 crypto keys again, hopefully I unlock the new weapons they supposed to give out, like, they gave out the MX and the uh, crossbow and some other shit, and um, I still haven't unlocked them yet, but I'll, I will unlock them with uh, with the crypto keys. But with real money, you gotta be real stupid to actually make some fucking decision like that. Spend sixty bucks again just to get a crossbow, get an MX. 
nah, I'm still game with my fucking regular weapons and I'll still own like that. Like, it's not a fucking big deal for me. But for some people is, which is, I'm like, brah, you gotta fucking snap out of it. <laughs> so that's it, guys. Make sure you subscribe for more. You guys want to hear more, more topics about Call of Duty and also more gameplay about Black Ops 3. Subscribe for more, guys. Yeah.